Good morning. It's Saturday, January 15th. And I have a question for you today. Have you heard of PLUS? P-L-U-S. That's the Pig Lovers United Society. And they have banded together a group of people who are very upset with the Xeno transformation of pigs. They are worried that if this continues and the pig population is reduced to being genetically engineered to save their organs to continue to save humans, then where, where will the human population get some of their favorite foods? Bacon will disappear, ham will disappear, pork roast will disappear, and I don't know how many other things that are made from pigs will disappear. Yes, maybe footballs will disappear, because you know, the football is commonly referred to as the pigskin. So, what is going to happen to all of those things if we allow Xeno transformation to continue. Think about it. Think about when you want to make a quick ham and cheese sandwich because you've got to get the kids off to school or something. Right? Think about all the old standbys. Bacon and eggs. Right? Are we going to replace bacon and eggs with lots and eggs and onions? I think not. I think the pigs are an important piece of our society. I don't see how we could allow them to become more human than pig. So I know for a fact that PLUS, the Pig Lover Society, is going to sue a major portion of the pig farmers in this country. I don't know if you call them a pig farmer or a pig rancher, but whatever, those groups are going to be sued. It's going to be like Roe versus Wade. We are going to try, or PLUS is going to try and overturn the Xeno transformation movement. They're going, and they're hoping they can get this case before the Supreme Court. And let's not forget the Chinese restaurant industry. What are they going to do when their menus are slashed in half? Because most of the dishes that they produce come from pigs and they don't want xeno transformed pigs that would be ridiculous so what do you think is going to happen i mean when people can't go out and can't get their pork fried rice or their pork chow mein or their plain roasted pork or roast pork with vegetables i mean think of all the dishes that the chinese produce with pork And this would put a tremendous burden on the industry. And if you think that the Chinese are going to stand still and allow them to xeno-transform all of the pigs without first allowing them to test them and see if that changes the flavor of the pig, I mean, and then maybe even the Chinese won't even be willing to pay for those pigs because I am sure... A xeno-transformed pig is not going to cost the same per pound as a regular, ordinary, run-of-the-mill pig. So we have to consider that. That's a huge industry that could be affected by the fact that we are going to xeno-transform all these pigs. You know, I don't think there's a lot of other restaurants that would care about it, but I bet you there are some pork dishes that are served in restaurants where the restaurants will be reluctant to use a pig that has organs that are very similar to humans, right? So this is not a, you know, this is not an easy decision that they're making here. And let's not exo- ignore the Italian delicatessens that sell all kinds of ham, honey ham, fresh ham, black for- black forest ham, there's all kinds of hams being sold in Italian delis. You know? So we've got a whole industry right there that uses ham and uses pork. And don't forget, probably in all the public schools around the country, they offer ham and cheese and things like that. So getting away from ham is not going to be easy. And also, let's not forget Thanksgiving. 
Because quite often at Thanksgiving, instead of having turkey, many people have a ham. So you've got a huge population of people who probably love ham on Thanksgiving. What are we going to do about them? Are those people going to be prepared to eat ham that is xenotransformed? I don't know. I don't know if people are going to go for this thing. So I think a lot of this has to go into deep thought, you know. And that's what PLUS is all about. Pig Lovers United Society. They're going to make sure that some parts of the pigs are not transformed, are not xenogenerated, you know. They're going to avoid that. They're going to be on strike. They're going to do something. They're gathering the troops now. You know, they're gathering the troops in order to protest the xeno transformation of pigs. And knowing the way this knowing the way the Supreme Court is currently constructed, if they come up with a lawsuit and it gets to the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court is a bunch of traditionalists, a bunch of conservatives. They're not gonna be happy about all pigs being xeno transformed. You know, they probably look at it, some of those people on the court will look at it and say, it's not God's wishes to change a pig. That's another thing. There probably will be some religious groups that will object to the transformation of pigs. And we have to consider that, too. Now, I don't think we have to consider that much in the Jewish faith. But I think there are many other faiths that view the pigs as delicious, and they don't want them tasting like humans, you know. So this is a major, major problem. And you may not be able to carry this thing to the full extent that the scientists, that the heart transplanters want. So I'm going to leave you with those thoughts tonight. Think about it. Think about it when you pull out some ham to have a ham and cheese sandwich or something. Anyhow, have a great day, and I'll see you in the morning. Bye.